As I went through the wires today, the story of the Holocaust appeared alongside reports of rising extremism, hate crimes, and religious persecution. They were different stories, but these three themes have stark similarities with the story of the Holocaust. The genocide of Jews during World War II taught the world several lessons, and they still remain relevant. On We On Edit, we'll discuss how those lessons are more relevant today than any other time in history. The Jews were victims of Hitler's plan for a master race. Adolf Hitler considered Jews inferior. And during the Holocaust, the Nazis referred to them as rats. Hitler divided the world population into high and low races, and then he tried to eliminate what he considered low, leading to one of the darkest moments in modern human civilization. Six million Jews, six million, were killed in a state-sponsored genocide. The Holocaust was the worst conclusion of a culture of prejudice and racism, fueled by an economic crisis and popular rhetoric, shades of which can be found even today. Could something like this happen again? This question invariably comes to mind as we revisit the liberation of the Auschwitz death camp 75 years later. Hitler rose to power in a liberal setup, in a liberal country. His rise reflected the anger, frustration and resentment of the German citizens. Germany had lost the First World War and had to surrender in 1918. The country was looking for a scapegoat. Hitler blamed the Jews. He used Germany's democratic institutions to pass laws to marginalize them. On 23rd of March, 1933, Germany passed the Enabling Act. This act gave Hitler complete control over the country. He could issue decrees at will without consulting the president or the parliament. The result, civil liberties were abolished. Germany transformed into a legal dictatorship and the mass murder of Jews was ordered. An authoritarian regime was born, one that was driven by hatred against one particular race. Now I come back to that question. Could something like this happen again in this day and age? Some leaders around the world have been able to set up their own forms of authoritarian rule. President Robert Mugabe ruled over Zimbabwe for 37 years. He was ultimately ousted in a military coup. He left an ailing economy behind. In Iran, power rests in the hands of the supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. In Pakistan, the elected government serves as a facade for the rule of the military, but none of these examples come close to Hitler's Germany, and for good reason. International checks and balances have improved over time. We have international organizations, institutions like the United Nations, the European Union, the World Bank, and the International Monetary Fund. They've, passed, uh, they've posed rather some difficulty for authoritarians the world over. But their relevance in the 21st century is increasingly being questioned. How much can they do? That brings us to a dramatic shift that is happening in global politics. There is a new wave of leadership taking charge. The face of global politics is changing. We live in the era of strongmen, leaders governing their countries with a solid majority. From Donald Trump in America to Boris Johnson in England to Vladimir Putin in Russia and Prime Minister Modi in India, they have the power not only to shape the destinies of their respective countries, but the entire world. What happened in Hitler's reign was one of the worst episodes of brutal oppression. It reminds us what majoritarianism can morph into. As the world remembers the victims of the Holocaust, global leaders must pay heed to the lessons of the past before they start shaping the future.